Good afternoon, students. Uh, welcome to Swayam Siksha. This is Ram Sudhir. Uh, two days before exam. Now, few things which students have to remember. Very important. It is more important than what you have studied till now. So, what are these few things? Firstly, we have to go to the exam hall with a very, very cool mind. Now, which is a difficult thing. But going to the exam hall with a cool mind is how do I go to the exam hall with a cool mind? Is basically understanding that life is bigger than UPSC. First thing. And when your mind is cool, automatically you will be able to analyze questions better. Second and the most important aspect is in the exam hall, don't forget to read each and every question. Don't forget to read each and every question because many a times there will be clues in the questions itself which will guide you to the answer. All the questions have to be read. Very, very important. Third most important point, very important point, after your GS1, after your first paper, you are not going to discuss what you have written in the paper 1. You have to remove GS1 from your mind completely before going to CSAT. Many students give up thinking that, you know, they have not done paper 1 well. And some of my students have cleared GS1 recently uh, in the last year's exam as the scores have come. And because of that baggage they carried, they have lost in CSAT. So, very, very important. No baggage. GS1 is over. Stay cool, go ahead with your CSAT. Very, very important. Now, number of attempts, if the question paper looks average, on an average, you should be attempting around 80 to 85 questions. No attempting 50 or 55. Okay, and at the same time, if the question paper looks easy, around 85 to 90 is also doable. Very important. Because if you attempt very few questions, thinking that all the questions will be right, maybe too optimistic. Next important aspect, when you start solving the question paper, don't panic by seeing tough questions initially. There will be some papers where you find in the first 10 questions are difficult, first 5 questions you are not able to solve even a single question and still there are many questions to come, there are many easy questions to come. Generally people, they generally students give up seeing the first few questions. Very, very uh, important because these first few questions or the difficult questions may be there initially and you give up your hope and that is the reason you may fail in the exam. No giving up hope, keep solving. Look for easy questions, look for medium questions and that will definitely help you. Next important aspect, don't take too much of stress now. That is today and tomorrow. Don't take too much of stress. Very, very important. Don't bring in that current affairs. Don't start reading something new. Some friend has said, you know, this question is compulsory. All that will not work. It is application of accumulated knowledge over a period of time. Okay. And try to sleep properly on Saturday, that is on fourth night, you have to have at least five to six hours of solid sleep. For that, what you are going to do, are you going to exercise? It's up to you, but sleep, try to sleep. No tension, don't take too much of stress because that will definitely hinder your progress. One more important aspect, when you are solving CSAT, 100% don't completely depend on reading comprehension only. That will be too risky for us. Okay, so reading comprehension, yes, you will solve, but completely putting all your stakes into reading comprehension will be risky. Please keep this in mind. And most importantly, go as early as possible to the exam hall so that you avoid confusion. Okay, and see to that whether you are uh, carrying your hall ticket, etc. Okay, so that's all and I wish you all the best. No tension about mains. Just give your best. We are there to help you for mains. We are going to definitely come up with very good uh, videos on uh, for mains exam, flow charts, fast track revision, whatever it is. Just give your 100% with a peaceful mind. Okay. Thank you.